So I'm a voice actor and former opera singer. I correlate so much of my desire to be a classical musician as a singer to the years that I played Final Fantasy because that soundtrack and those compositions completely changed my life. I became obsessed with the Final Fantasy soundtrack, which then allowed me to become obsessed with Franz Liszt or Rachmaninoff or any Italian composer that I eventually sang. And I think we need to view video game music as classical music. Now, you may not go to the uh, symphony hall to listen to it, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have the same emotional effect that Pulse the Planets might have on you or Puccini's La Boheme might have on you because you've experienced video game music. So what I want to do is I want to experience this music together with you. I want to talk about these pieces. I want to enjoy them and listen to them together so that we can talk about the emotions that we feel removed from the game. Kaine's salvation from Near Replicant. We know that Kaine's character is super complicated, super gruff, super rough. What, what do we feel when we listen to this music away from the context of the character Kaine? Or what do we feel when we listen to the opening theme of Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers away from the context of what makes Final Fantasy XIV amazing? the characters, the, the experience, what do we feel intrinsically when we listen to these pieces of music away from the original source material and we view them as compositions? And that's what I want to do and that's what I want to talk about. So enough of this. Let's dive in. I would love to look at Kindness Salvation first today and just sit here with you and talk about it. I'll stop and start as we go and let's just dive in and let's just like really appreciate this music together. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> You know, even this opening, there's a sense of uplifting, a sense of of hope that is coming across there that I think is really, really beautiful. Before Emmy even begins to sing, there's a sense of quiet contemplation that occurs. It's such a beautiful song. from using actual language that folks could understand, that they chose this chaos language, as Emmy calls it, Emmy Evans, the singer. It allows you to really enter this as, as you, the player, and you, the listener. There's a sense of, it's almost a love song. There's the, the, the way that the piano plays and the swelling and the vocal line is mesmerizing. Let's finish it out. <laughs> It's also interesting because in classical music and in classical sung music, this is strophic. It's common in German leader where you'll have both both verses or however many verses all sound the same, but the but the words are different. <laughs> i 
Replicant and near Gestalt and near, well, they're the same thing, but near Automata all have these incredible soundtracks that really elevate the experience for the player. And a piece like this is so profoundly moving and truly, truly beautiful. It's probably one of my favorite songs in the repertoire of video game music. It's so beautiful and it really makes me think about life <clears throat> a lot. And uh, I'd love to hear what you think about it. It's definitely one of my favorite songs in the in the video game orchestration, uh, in the video game composition world. Well, that's it. I'm going to keep doing this with a whole bunch of other songs. I have all these things lined up. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.